So I recently moved and I have to set up my office. And my office is mainly gonna be for my own work, but we also produce content and you never know when the next COVID is gonna hit and we're gonna have to be shooting the damage report out of it. So I wanna make sure that it's fit for shooting, that it has a background that's gonna look good or whatever, appropriate for the type of content we do. So. I put up the sort of tweet that gets Ben Mankiewicz to make fun of me all the time, trying to set up a new home office that I'll sometimes need to shoot content in. And so once again, trying to figure out what to put in the background or on the wall, any suggestions. Now, many people put perfectly reasonable suggestions. Like I like backgrounds that have shelves with interesting stuff to look at, like collections you have, travel souvenirs, old stuff, figurines, plants, books, or whatever, perfectly fine idea. Cassandra says wood paneling, easily faked with just trim and paint, plants and art, fireplace. Some of the electric ones are pretty decent looking these days. Cassandra has expansive idea of how big this room is, it is not like that, but thank you. Um, some people started to give advice that might have been a bit sarcastic, like uh, Rich W. Love, who said Jank Uger's drawing of you. I, I don't think that's a good idea. But then things took a turn with Michelle Clement suggesting that Leslie Jones give me advice, and in fact tagged Leslie Jones. To which I responded, not tagging Leslie Jones, because I imagined late on a Sunday night, the last thing she wanted or would engage in is giving me advice. I just said, <laughs> Leslie, save me. To which she promptly responded, send pic. <laughs> So this is Leslie Jones of SNL, who I think is incredibly funny and is known for destroying people online. I apparently forgot that fact for a few moments and decided to send her an image of what the TDR home shoot studio looked like for most of the pandemic. So I sent this shot saying this is how the last office looked, basically just board games, but it's political content. Not quite right, right? This is a random shot to which she responded, okay, where do I start? First, you look like an Instagram DJ. I would have never <laughs> thought you were some political dude. So don't know if that's what you were going for. Is that a gold chain? I'm just saying DJ lunchbox, I hope this was practice. <laughs> Show me what you're doing right now. And when I sat back at my desk and saw that, I thought, "Oh my god, what has become of me?" <laughs> And you do, hurts. you yeah. are, she's not wrong, man. It's That's she, why it hurts. It just, right. I look like an Instagram DJ. You because <laughs> you're given some Khaled vibes, you know, with like the close shave and like the 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 facial hair and everything. So the DJ lunchbox, with which is funny <laughs> because it's more like DJ board game, boo boo boo, which I don't know which <laughs> one is. Box come from nerdier because they look I like lunch know. boxes behind you, John. I told her they were board games anyway. What did but what she I say? love about it is that she's dead. No, I said in that first comment it's board games. They're, oh, they're, they're actually board games. Do I have anyway? So, first of all, it hurts because she's totally right. I look at that picture and I think, yeah, that guy probably wants to be an Instagram DJ, but isn't succeeding at it. And second of all, she has come up with something. Instagram DJ that is simultaneously worse than just being a guy on Instagram or being a DJ. <laughs> it's worse <laughs> than both. Anyway, she said, show me what you're doing right now. I did not send her a photo because I could not come up with anything I would send her that would not result in me being immolated again. So I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna maybe I'll do something in studio just to, to try to tamp down the flames a bit. But she has destroyed me, and um, yeah, in my uh, Twitter bio, I am now DJ Lunchbox. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool yeah. that she responded. Is is she actually? This is me not knowing. Is she the Room Raiders person, or is she just? No, no. I think she's like um, she's interacted with them, and she Got it. she comments on like MSNBC, what happens on MSNBC and stuff in Got a it. very like explicit way. So that's why someone unleashed her on me. Anyway, but it was funny and love Leslie Jones, obviously. Uh, she's missed on SNL. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.